What's up friends, Pat Patanat here with Coldwell Banker Realty. If you're new to this channel, please hit that like and subscribe button for more real estate related videos. Today we're going to be going over Olivewood and Portola Springs, Irvine, California. Olivewood by New Home Company will be bringing a collection of luxury designer residences set on top of the highest point of Portola Springs. So for those of you that do not know, Portola Springs is one of the most inland neighborhoods in all of Irvine. It's actually one of the newer communities in Irvine as well. That is where you see a lot of land being developed right now and it's really close to the 241. So although it's not centrally located, it's still not that bad on commuters. And then you have award-winning schools very close by and grocery stores about three to five miles away. This is a master plan community by Irvine Company with tons of amenities. The homes will range from the mid two millions to the low four millions. The homes will range from 2,870 square feet to 3,220 square feet. They will have four to five bedrooms, three to five and a half bathrooms, each will have a two-car garage, be walking distance to award-winning schools, community pools, parks, trails, and more. There are three different styles of homes, and today we're going to be going over Plan 1 and Plan 2 in this new community. So let's have a look. So here we have Plan 1. This is actually the smallest of the three in the community, as well as the least expensive. You'll see that it has this Spanish contemporary style to it, and they actually converted the garage into the sales gallery for this house. As you enter through the front doors, you're greeted with this beautiful imported luxury limestone flooring. You're seeing them in a lot of high-end new builds. Off the right-hand side of this hallway, you have uh, your main floor bedroom. It's a great size bedroom. You can fit a full-size or a queen-size bed and a desk. I love the textured designer wallpaper that they used. And then conveniently located is your main floor bathroom. It's perfect for overnight guests. Those are some really nice tiles in the walk-in shower. Now check out this accent wall with the white panels. This is beautiful, very modern. Here we have your coat closet. And look at this great room. What a great room. I love this room so much. This is a grand chef's kitchen, uh, luxury countertops, beautiful backsplash, stainless steel appliances. They're actually only using Wolf appliances and Sub-Zero fridges in these homes. You can convert this pantry into a prep kitchen if you like, that's an option. You can also convert windows right here into a sliding glass door, that's also an option. Look at those eight inch baseboards. Check out one, one more look at this great room. It's an awesome great room. Now we're gonna go through these stacking doors to the backyard. Uh, most of these backyards, they just come with a, a dirt lot. It's up to you on how you wanna design this. They took the same flooring as the inside and brought it outside. It really gives this indoor outdoor vibe. It's pretty cool. So as we go inside and up the stairs, I want to remind you that uh, most of these homes, they come very basic. Uh, the flooring that they use downstairs is usually a vinyl or hardwood flooring and upstairs is a very basic carpet. In these homes, they are using the most upgraded versions of the types of flooring and fixtures that you can actually use. So on the left-hand side over here, we have this wonderful sized loft. You're seeing lofts in a lot of the new builds now, especially when they're uh, larger homes. They'll usually put a loft upstairs. It's, it's great. It gives this like separation from the uh, kids and parents or even for parents if they ever want to be set in separate rooms and watching different shows or anything along those lines. Now here we have the primary bedroom. Great size bedroom, king size bed. Love the accent wall again. Check out those giant windows. Uh, sun filled room right here. Your linen cabinets and here's your primary bathroom. Uh, separate dual sinks. You have the freestanding tub, beautiful walk-in shower. And this is a really nice size walk-in closet. 
Let's have one more look. I like the hardwood flooring that they use in here. Here we have your third bedroom. It's a twin size bed, but it looks like you can fit a larger bed if you'd like. Here's your secondary bath. I like the hexagon tiles on the floor. I also like the tile uh, backsplash. And here we have your third bedroom. And here is your laundry room. And that's it. Now let me take you over to the next house. Here we have the exterior of the Plan 2 model in olive wood. The exterior of this home is more of a modern farmhouse look to it. And this is the community in Portola Springs getting built out right now. This home has had some awesome views over there. All right, this house is very similar to the Plan 1 model. Off the right-hand side of the entryway is your main floor bedroom and your main floor bath. They've actually converted this one into an office. What's cool about this floor plan, it's 100 square feet larger. Um, you'll see it inside the bedrooms and you actually have the option to convert the upstairs loft into a fifth bedroom. They use the same limestone tile flooring throughout this entire uh, first floor, it's very cool. And you actually have under the stairs storage in this home as well. can't get enough of these great rooms. This house is actually uh, the flipped uh, floor plan from the first house that we saw. Again, we have the Grand Chef's Kitchen, Wolf Appliances, and a Sub-Zero fridge. You're gonna see that they actually converted this pantry into that optional prep kitchen, which is really cool. If you'd like, you actually have the option to convert those windows again into sliding glass doors. I'm going to skip going outside on this home, you'll see, but um, again, you most likely get a dirt lot that you can convert or change into however you want to be creative with your backyard. And here on your left hand side, we have the family loft area. You can actually convert this into a fifth bedroom. And check out the primary. Again, th this one has some amazing views as well. Wonderful natural light being soaked into the house. Here's your primary bath. You got the freestanding tub right there, the dual sinks. And a nice walk-in shower. It's a great size walk-in closet as well. I like the textured wallpaper that they put in here. Uh, all these homes come with recessed lighting throughout. That is actually part of the standard package as well. So you'll see the secondary bedroom where this is like the third bedroom. It's much larger than the third bedroom in the other home. They use some really nice wallpaper in here. This one is actually also larger than the other home. You 
you got a slightly smaller laundry area. And then uh, here's your secondary bath upstairs as well. So there you have it guys, those were the two new plans in all of wood that I wanted to show you today. I'll have plan number three out for you guys next week. And for any additional information about this community, I'll have a link in my description below. As always, if you're looking to buy, sell, invest, or lease real estate, you know my contact information. Feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to help. Python at signing out. Thank you.